second half display, you can't complain about that, can you? No, and I thought, thought we were all right first half as well in terms of, you know, we um, we forced them into a lot of errors in the first half, but just didn't capitalise on it. thought we were a little bit careless, you know, uh, that final pass or short cross, whatever it may be, uh, should have been a lot better. But in the second half, like you say, uh, we tidied it up a little bit. We stayed on the front foot, pressed quite high and aggressive against them. But this time, yeah, like I say, the, the weight of pass or the finish or cross, whatever it may be, was much better. I've already asked the hat trick here, but I'll ask you as well. First half, when he put that tackle in, did you think he was off? No, not really, because I, I thought he slipped. Thought he slipped as well, and I don't know what Bren said. Um, he thought he was off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot. Uh, sometimes they look worse, and you know when you hear it as well. Like obviously, if this place was full, it might have just looked like seen a normal tackle, and you know. Um, but there was a, there was a couple. The the players both both sides slipped tonight, and couple of tackles look worse I mean the Regan one as well was very similar that looked worse than uh, actually what it was so um, but yeah listen you need a little bit of luck if that's the case I've obviously not looked back at it because I wasn't too concerned about it but I was more concerned at the misplaced pass that he did literally two minutes before you know coming in at half time and he was aware of that at half time and obviously you know he uh, got much better in the second half You talked before the game when we spoke you said you wanted him to, to get close to Callum Morton to play off him tonight and in that second half although it wasn't necessarily Callum he was playing off he, he got in those positions I guess that you wanted him to get into Yeah and we obviously we knew and you know did our work on obviously them and how they'd set up and how they'd play and um, I thought that would just allow us to get him a little bit closer to Callum tonight and um, you know we could um get him in positions where when he's receiving the ball instead of like you know having to run with the ball 10 yards or find a pass for 15 yards to get us in around the edge of the box he, he would be in them positions already himself so um, yeah I thought the, the front four in the second half uh, were well backed up by the rest of the team but like I say they produced the, produced the goods I know managers can sometimes be really picky over who takes penalties especially when it's not done and dusted in a 2 0 game certainly not done and dusted but were you confident with Brennan taking it were you happy for him to take it yeah I was and to be fair um, going way back to the Doncaster game um, you know I wanted him to take the second penalty but Scully was obviously confident at that time um, and it sort of backfired on me a little bit and I promised myself it would never happen again um, so I knew that Brennan was going to take it. He's been aware of that for a while, and uh, the fact that he was on an hat trick, and he, he just showed obviously fantastic composure as well. Have having to take it again? I'm not sure what that's all about. I've not seen that this season. He, he's blamed Scully. I get that, but like I'm, I haven't seen that much this year. You know, I can understand if you know the keeper had made a save or attempted to make a save or you know whatever it may be. But it was a little bit of desperation, I suppose, on their part. But um, I was just more. Uh, more delighted at the fact that he kept his composure. And Cohen's uh, free kick, did you always know he had that in the locker? Yeah, he practices it every day. You know, he's, he's definitely got it. I mean, if, was it the Oxford game recently as well on the Friday night? You know, he, he made a good save. Uh, Jack Stevens made a good save. Um, I had to intervene on that one because I think Scully was trying to take it, so I had to get him away from it. Uh, but no, yeah, he does. He practices it most days, to be fair to Cohen. Yeah. But Brennan talked as well about how pleased he was for his defenders that they got a clean sheet tonight and the goalkeeper as well. How pleased are you that you got that clean sheet? Yeah, I was. Um, I was a little bit annoyed in the build-up to the, to the free kick that they got very, very late on. Um, lack of concentration for a couple of players, we'll just leave it at that. Um, so I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, and, and that was a big thing for us tonight because, you know, Alex has not had to make a save. I think they had one block. TJ made a really good block at one point, but apart from that, he's had nothing to do. So, really, really controlled performance by us in and out of possession, and you know, you know, dominated what we thought was the right areas of the pitch. And the fact tonight as well, you could get to the hour mark and you could bring players off who you knew probably wouldn't last much longer, and, and not have to worry about those changes. That must please you as well. Yeah, it was great. That was really pleasing because at half time, you know, Mike called me and said there's three or four players struggling a little bit uh, with various things and the two centre halves were definitely two of them um, so you know once it got to sort of three I felt a little bit more relaxed at the, the players because it's not more of um, you know we know they can do the job but sometimes it's obviously difficult to get up to the speed of speed of things and when you're winning in games your, your attitude you know could potentially be a little bit more relaxed and 
it wasn't a day to be relaxed. We wanted to make sure that we win the game, do it properly and, and move on to Saturday. When you look at the results tonight, I mean, the weeks you had off, the, the Easter break you had off, everything went against you, whereas tonight everything seems to have gone for you. That must be delightful for, for you and the players to, to see the table tonight and, mm. and see you strengthen your position in the playoffs. Yeah, definitely, because it's not happened, like you say, for a while, you know. Um, you know, when we've lost the game, you know, the teams around us tended to sort of pick up points and stuff, so... Um, loads of twists and turns to go yet. Yeah, obviously, this this team's just outside the players at the minute. They'll be chomping at the bit and they'll be looking at one or two clubs that are in the playoffs, like us and Blackpool and Portsmouth, thinking, right, we're going to capitalise if they drop points. So, focus, focus, focus. You know, um, it was very, very brief in the dressing room. It's like, you know, well done, three points, move on. Should have happened a lot sooner. It's going to look forward to Saturday. And is it just about managing the players between now and Saturday a bit like you have between uh, Saturday and today? It is, yeah, because we've got two or three who you know, generally do need next to nothing between the games and uh, the two centre are, are, are sort of two of those players at the minute, so we've got to wrap them up in cotton wool at the minute. And it was just really pleasing as well to see TJ come on and show great concentration. And even Lewis, you know, at that time of the game, he could have quite easily come on and maybe sulked or not been quite at it, but his, his, his concentration levels were really good.